Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a particular topic of geometry. Here I will show you how to find out the area and perimeter of two geometric figures. One is parallelogram and another is a circle. In a previous video I have shown you how to find out the area and perimeter of triangle, a square and a rectangle. So in today's discussion I will show you how to derive the area of these two particular figures in geometry. Let us start. So first I am starting with the finding of area and perimeter of parallelogram. Now what is a parallelogram? Parallelogram is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral what is that? Quadrilateral is nothing but a geometric figure which is having four sides A, B, C, D is my parallelogram here. But there is a definite characteristics of parallelogram. What is that? Two opposite sides are parallel and equal to each other. That means AB is parallel to CD. At the same time AB is equal to CD. Okay. At the same time AD and BC are equal. AD equal to BC and AD is parallel to BC. Keeping in mind these characteristics of a parallelogram, I am going to derive the perimeter. Now what will be the perimeter of this parallelogram? Perimeter if I denote it as P, that is means sum of all sides, that means AB plus BC plus CD plus AD. Okay. Now we know that AB equal to CD. So I can write it as CD. What is BC? BC is same as AD. Okay, so it comes to CD and AD. So it is very much evident it is nothing but 2 into CD plus AD. So if I just cite, if I just sum up the AD and CD and multiply by 2, I am getting the perimeter of this particular parallelogram. Now how to find out the area of this particular parallelogram? For that purpose, I will be doing just one thing and I will show you how to do that. I am drawing a perpendicular. Let it be cutting the line CD at N. Okay. So that means I am drawing a perpendicular AN on the base CD. Okay. Now I am joining the diagonal of the parallelogram. A, B, C, D. What is a diagonal? Diagonal is a straight line connecting the opposite two vertices. Now, from the area formula of a triangle, we know triangle A, D, C equal to half of A, N into C, D, right? Half of base, that is C, D, into the perpendicular length drawn from the opposite vertex, that is A, D, C. But from the figure you can understand that triangle ADC and triangle ABC they are basically congruent. Congruent means their area will be same. That means this diagonal AC has separated the parallelogram into two equal triangles. They are ADC and ABC. So obviously a, B, C, D, that is the parallelogram, its length will be half into A, N into C, D into 2. 2 means I am calculating the area of A, B, C, which is nothing but same as A, B, C. So, if I multiply the triangle's area into 2, I am getting the area of the particular parallelogram, that means nothing but A, N into C, D. So, what is the area of the parallelogram? Area of the parallelogram is basically CD into the perpendicular length drawn from the opposite vertex. So that is very simple and how we have derived the area of this parallelogram. So the last figure that I am going to discuss is today is the area and perimeter of a circle. What is a circle? We everyone know what a circle is. So let the circle center be O and any point on the circumference of the circle be P. So you know if I connect OP that generates the radius of the circle. Not only OP but any point which is 
present on the circumference of the circle let it be q then oq is also same as r that is radius of the circle then in that case per perimeter formula for circle is 2 into pi into r what is pi pi is 22 by 7 and r is the length of the radius correct and what is area area is nothing but pi r square that means 22 by 7 into r square so if we get to know the length of a radius of a circle we will be able to find out the area and perimeter okay now for an example if the r equal to 7 for example let us take an example of a circle whose radius is 7 then its perimeter will be 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 but keep in mind the circumference of the perimeter will be in same centimeter because it is calculating length only so that means it is 44 centimeter okay at the same time whenever we are calculating the area right whenever we are calculating the area of a circle we have to keep in mind that area will be 22 by 7 into 7 whole square because we have considered in this example r equal to 7 so that means it is 154 but the unit will be square centimeter because area is also expressed in square unit so that is in simple we have find out how to find out the perimeter and area of a circle as well so if you like this video i will request everyone to watch view and subscribe my channel thank you